Another surprising thing I learned as a neuroscientist is that brain networks serve more than one purpose. Here's an example of one core brain network. And here's evidence from a handful of brain imaging studies showing that this one network plays a role in making emotions, in making concepts and memories, and in imagination, and in perception, and even in chronic pain. This similarity can be tricky to see if you're not used to looking at brain imaging results, so I'm circling the similarities here for you. Here's another core brain network. The colorful blobs in this image indicate regions in this network that have increased their activity in almost 6,000 studies of various mental events. So a core brain system is one to many mapping. A single brain network contributes to many different mental events. In fact, my lab has collected hundreds of studies of emotion where tens of thousands of people had their brain scanned while they were angry, sad, afraid, and so on. Here's a statistical summary of the brain networks that participate in making fear. The thing to know here is that this is not a photograph of what fear looks like in the brain. It's more like a statistical average. No one's brain actually needs to look like this in fear. Now let me show you the recipe for this average using seven core networks that neuroscientists have discovered in the brain. I'm displaying the results on a circle with one line representing the activity of each core brain network. So if you see a mark way out here, it means the average recipe for this emotion contains a lot of that network. And if you see a mark way down here, it means that only a small amount of this network is needed for the average recipe. This shape depicts the average recipe for fear. So when someone has an experience of fear, on average, all seven networks are involved to some degree, even networks for vision and hearing. Likewise, the average recipe for anger includes all networks in some proportion, and this is true for every other emotion that we've studied. Here, I'm showing you disgust and sadness. So think about brain networks like they're ingredients in your kitchen. You can begin with flour, water, and salt and create diverse foods like cookies or breads or even sauces. We can even make non-foods like glue. No ingredient is dedicated to any particular food. Likewise, no brain network is dedicated to any specific function. Your mind is a computational moment in your brain, and your brain's networks work together to create a rich and varied emotional life.